last step is to go ahead and put everything back. So first up, we have to reconnect our Wi-Fi card. Like you see right here, just gently slides in place. Hey everyone, Tech Chef here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to expand or upgrade the storage in your Acer Aspire 5 laptop. If you're interested in this laptop or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see we have our 11 screws removed from our back cover of our laptop. All the screws are identical in size, so if you don't want to keep track of them, you don't have to. After you have the 11 screws removed, the cover is still firmly in place. I highly recommend taking a little pry tool, like a guitar pick or this little tool you see here. Start in the corner and then work your way around to be able to snap the cover off. Once you do, this is what you're gonna be working with. So let's go ahead, let's talk about our M.2 drive first. You can see by default with this particular version, we have a 128 gigabyte M.2 drive. Our brand is SK Hynix. If you wanted to swap this drive out, it is very simple. Go ahead, take a tiny Phillips head screwdriver, remove this screw, and put your new M.2 drive in place. Now, in regards to using a 2.5 inch SSD like the Lexar one that you see here, that's gonna be a little bit more detail, but it's not bad. Acer gives us everything we need right out of the box. They give us our hard drive bracket and all the included screws we need. Ours was positioned in the box. You might have yours actually in the laptop, but we have all of our screws in our bracket right here. The only thing you need to provide is our SSD. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. Step one is to go ahead and disconnect the battery from the motherboard to de-energize the computer. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna peel up this tape and pull out the connector. Do as I say, not as I do. Step two is to attach our included adapter to our SSD. You can see it's only gonna line up and go one way into our drive. So there we go for our particular drive. You can see how everything came together. Step three is to go ahead and insert our drive into our bracket. Again, it's only going to fit one way. So you can see how everything looks. Now we're ready to go ahead and attach our drive to our bracket with the four included screws that are provided. At this step, note the different screw sizes that are provided. You have four larger screws. That's the one on the left. That's gonna be the four you're gonna use for the bracket to attach to the hard drive. Now for step four, it's time to install the hard drive so you can see where we're gonna position it. And again, it's only gonna fit one way. So you can line it up in that corner and now you're ready to take the remaining four screws and fasten it in place. There you go, you can see everything's fastened in place. Now we're ready for our fifth step. That's gonna be to remove the Wi-Fi module so we can connect our ribbon cable. It's really simple. We have one screw to remove right here and the card just gently pulls out. So there we go, our one screw has been removed and now we just pull the card out like you see right here and we can just set it off to the side, that's fine. Now for step six, we need to connect our ribbon cable. So you can see how we have the crease by default straight from the factory. And this is gonna connect right in here. So we have two little blue lips on the ribbon cable. Those have to make sure that they're far enough in on the connector. So there's a little spot for them. They kind of go right in, it fits. You really can't have it too far in if that makes any sense. So just line it up like you see right here. I know my big finger's in the way, but there we go. We have those blue lips basically on the other side of these two little black edges. And then we just gently press the white cover back. And there we go. We have our ribbon cable connected. The last step is to go ahead and put everything back. So first up, we have to reconnect our Wi-Fi card. Like you see right here, just gently slides in place. And now we have to take our Phillips head screw and fasten that down. And next we have to snap our cover back on and put our 11 screws back in place. So here you go, you can see everything's been put back together and now we're ready to start using our laptop. In case you're wondering how long this will take you, it should take you 10 minutes or less from start to finish. 